Hey everyone, if you're playing on the newest version of Opera Holocaust Tycoon 2, which now is 0.2.6, and if you have the most recent developer version, then uh, a new feature has been added to the game. So, uh, you probably know these uh, portcullis doors and these uh, normal doors. And previously, if you wanted them to be stuck in an opened animation like I did here for the entrance, then what, what I would do is... Uh, I would place down one of these uh, doors here and make a car ride like this. Oh, yeah, we can just put it in simulation mode. Wait, let me retry that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I paused the game here, but if we now remove the ride, then the door will be stuck in an open animation. I'll have to allow building in pause mode. Okay, now the ride is removed and this door is now stuck in an open animation. And then if we wanted to use that door um, in multiple places, we would have to copy and paste it with the file inspector. And then, for example, we can paste it here and the door will uh, be open in all those instances. Uh, it's, it can be quite a, a lot of work um, if you have a building where you want a lot of these uh, these open doors but right now there's a new uh, feature in the game so we can now just simply select this door in the tile inspector so now I have the doorway selected and here you can select the animation frame so let me go on this side here you see the door right under the roller coaster and when I change this value the door will um, yeah it will open and you can even uh, freeze it in a temp in a yeah, slightly open position or uh, almost open, completely open. Um, so yeah, I think this uh, is a great feature which gives you uh, good control over how much the door has to be opened. And it should also be uh, faster if you uh, have a lot of doors. Also for this uh, portcullis door. You can also select how now how much you want it opened. You can have it uh, closed or slightly opened. Or here it's fully opened. Now this uh, this feature right now only works for uh, doors, because other animated objects, for example, like these statues over here, they uh, animate out of, yeah on their own. So basically, the game tells them to uh, when to animate. And for doors, um, they usually only animate when a car drives through them. But now you can also just uh, set their animation state manually. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope this trick is useful for you. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.